The 20 bucks you owe me. Oh, yeah? Well, I only got 10, so here's 10 and I owe you 10. Thanks. Hey, Mo, you owe me 20. Well, here's 10 and I'll owe you 10. Uh uh, you owe me 20. Here's 10, I owe you 10. Here's the 10 I owe you. Here's the 10 I owe you. Here's the 10 I owe you. Good, now we're all even. Hey, boss. Good morning. Good, how you doing? Listen, man, I'm not going to be able to make it in today. No, no, I'm not calling in sick. I'm calling in rich. Yeah, you remember those Shiba Inu coins that you laughed at me for buying? Well, I, I bought a hundred million of them. And wouldn't you know that damn thing hit a penny? And now it's worth a million bucks. So yeah, I'm calling in rich. No, I'm serious. So I won't be in ever again. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Motherfucker just hung up on me. First stop gambling, all right? You're one spin away from generational wealth. Your daughter's college tuition is one spin away. Put your life savings on black. Remember that. Just go to Vegas, and if you lose, just keep getting loans. Remember this. Just keep spinning, keep spinning, keep gambling, keep gambling. You can't lose. You literally can't lose. You can only quit. Of the worst hand in poker, seven deuce, and my opponent raises to forty dollars. I could fold, but I've enough people pushing me around. I re-raise to hundred twenty dollars. And he looks at me, like everyone looks at me, the men, the women, the children, the disgust. He raises to three hundred dollars, and I know what you're thinking. You have the worst hand in poker, you just have to fold. But I'm sick of folding. I'm sick of the way that people look at me. Uh, uh, I'm all in! I'm all in! Fold! 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 Yes! He folded! Nobody knows about that fucking degenerate life when you're fucking down 40,000 and you battle the fuck back! You say, you know what? You know what? I'm a fucking strong, independent man. And you're not going to tell me I should go to bed. I'm going to battle the fuck back. And I'm going to fucking get my money back. And guess what? I got my motherfucking money back. That's right. So I was right. I took a rash of shit for two years, but I was right. And everyone was wrong. And yeah, I got a bonus check for it. To me, you know, it's a lot of money. I get it. I could feel you judging me. That's palpable. But hey, I never said I was the hero of this story. And we're going to talk about the Bitcoin happening. Then the happening is happening in April, and the design is to cut, start cutting the Bitcoin in half, and and for the miners it will help increase the value of Bitcoin. So that's what our goal is, to increase the value of Bitcoin. But when you go all in on something, I would say that does take conviction. Now your how, conviction might how be- How many chairs are you process. sitting on right now? One. Are you all in on the chair? The point really is you put on one pair of glasses, you've got one pair of, of AirPods right now, you're looking at me through one screen, you're using one microphone. That's a one microphone. Like, you trust it? Is that conviction? Seems kind of scary. Why don't you diversify? Why don't you use 10 microphones? The point really is, things in your life, do you drive in 10 cars at the same time or one car at one time? Do you drive down one street? Aren't you afraid that you're driving down one street? Do you take a different way? You know? Uh, so my point really is, if you're an engine, you get on one airplane, are you convicted? You put your entire family in the one airplane? Aren't you afraid? Well, Bitcoin is the best crypto asset. Okay. What's the second best? There is no second best. There is no second best crypto asset. There's a crypto asset. It's called Bitcoin, right? Right? There is no second best, okay? But take all your money, buy Bitcoin. Then take all your time, figure out how to borrow more money to buy more Bitcoin. Then take all your time and figure out what you can sell to buy Bitcoin. And if you absolutely love the thing that you're that you don't want to sell it, go mortgage your house and buy Bitcoin with it. And if you've got a business that you love because your family works for the business that's in your family for 37 years and you can't bear to sell it, 
mortgage it, finance it, and convert the proceeds into the hardest money on earth. What is going on, you guys? Welcome to... I don't know. I guess Crypto Riches? <laughs> or possibly... Crypto Moolah. Crypto Moolah. Wife changing money. I am your host, Dollar Cost Crypto, here with Crypto Riches, man. Woo! That new intro is pretty fire, my guys. Pretty fire, man. Hit the like button, subscribe. Hit the notification bell because, you know, taxes. I don't know. Yeah, that's about it. Something about taxes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you never been one piece of me in your life. Never... <laughs> uh, I feel sad for anyone who wasn't watching my channel for the past year or so because it's just poverty out here in these streets. <laughs> I'm glad to be back, you guys. I was on hiatus for a little bit because of, um, I don't know, family, I guess, people. Yeah. People that want to leave me alone. Basically, but hey, I'm back. I've escaped their clutches. At <laughs> <laughs> something, something, something. Cash flow quadrant. Now, um, the Moon Gang Show. That's right. Pepe, fifty billion in market cap, <laughs> bro. I'd be a very happy. I'd be a very happy. Frog. Holy shit. Holy, holy. I'd be pretty happy, bro. Pepe season. That's for sure. But um, yeah. Let's see what we got. Yeah, make sure to share this out to you guys that we are live, you guys. Um, only place that you will see information like this in the world, man. That's a new that's new for me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, definitely, man. But the reason I wanted to call the show Crypto Riches is because there's still time to get in on some of the best assets in the crypto space. Yes, I'm talking to you. Not just you, but your cousin and your family members. It, there's still time to buy stuff, create a portfolio, get in before the rest of the crowd gets in. Uh, even though we've broken the Bitcoin all-time high, we're at and below it right now. And let me show you. You know, I really like that one meme I have of the old guys explaining like the Bitcoin happening. As soon as the Bitcoin happening is done, I'm not going to play it anymore. <laughs> like, but like, um, it's pretty hilarious. You know, like right now we're at 69,000. Basically, we're at the all let the last market up cycles all-time high. We passed it to six to 73. But remember what I said. The smarter normies won't really think we're in a bull, a brand new bull run until we pass about $81,000. $81,000, I think, is the number where people go like, oh, wow, this shit's really on. And then where the normie normies, where the, where the mid, like, I would I would just call them dum-dums, retards. Um, Philanthropists. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come in. Um, no diddy, right? Um, where they come in, where they come in and stuff and everything is going to be at a hundred thousand. Once Bitcoin, Bitcoin today breaks a hundred thousand for the first time in life. Oh my God. The normies are in, uh, crypto.com, Gemini, Kraken, probably all enter the top 20 <laughs> Coinbase goes number one. Um, oh my God, dude. Incredible. <laughs> it's incre incredible. 80 K by May. Sheesh. But remember you guys, we do have, we do have, the Bitcoin. No, I'm just <laughs> no, we do. We do have the um, 
you know, we have the uh, Federal Reserve meeting May 1st and June 12th. Within one of those two meetings, we will have the first interest rate cuts for the United States of America. <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I need to have that button. <laughs> <laughs> the eagle meme. I'm working on soundboards right now. We need um, what'd you say, Kyle? I was like, we for sure need to set that up or finish setting it up. Art, oh my God, Art, you troll. Troll is like, Miguel, is that a coffee? You know you could be a millionaire in 45 years if you made that coffee at home. And banned. All right, anyway. <laughs> you know, it's it's kind of crazy. You know, like this one, I've got to say, I've got to say. Another day is cash. Every day, cream. Cash rules everything around me. I'm flexing. It's Friday. In the Lambo. About to go spend $1,000 on dinner. Spend $20,000 in the club. Fuck three bitches. And I'll wake up tomorrow richer than I woke up today. Fuck your coffee money. <laughs> Ape it into crypto. Now, legitimately, you'd be better off. Yeah, right. If if you if you cost save everything in your life and then ape it into crypto, I can't be mad at you. Miguel, I can't. But that five not me coins. That, that six dollars not me coins. Damn it, Miguel. That six dollars in Pepe though. Every morning, you know, I don't have to buy. He who has cash can break the rules. He who has a gold makes the rules. But he who has cash now can Eight, break seven, the seven. rules. <laughs> my net worth is this, but the amount of cash I got in my bank says this. Cream. Right? Cream. Everything around me. Well, not Diddy. but <laughs> 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 Bro, I saw one of the funniest comments ever. Like, yo, Diddy is so gay. Even his Coke is pink. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. He's really on that pixie shit. Bruh, bruh. I rolled on the floor, bro. Holy, holy, holy shit, you guys. That is so fucking funny, man. That is so funny. Damn, dude. Bro, 50 cent, 50 cent. Dude, I cannot get away from the drama. So I'm just like, fuck it. I'm in it, bro. No Diddy. No Diddy. But like, when Diddy coin? But um, 50 cents coming out with a documentary on Diddy called Diddy Do It. And you know why? And you want to know why Diddy's why why Fifty Cent's mad at Diddy is because I think one of like Fifty Cent's baby mamas. Yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, for, I forgot her name, but I'll find it right now. Some Miami something. Yeah, whatever her name is. Um, basically, she was like drug running for for Diddy for like sex parties and everything like that. And he was like, "Bro, what the fuck you doing, girl?" So he's like, "Did he do it?" <laughs> I don't know, but yo, there's one person on this earth besides Four Chan. That you don't want mad at you is 50 cent because that fucker will troll you to the grave. To the he like it's been 30, 50 years since him and him and fucking what's his name? Um been beefing and shit, and they're mm -hmm. still beefing. It was Daffy and Joy. Yeah, okay, okay. Got you. Did he do it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Did he was banging guy? Yeah. Oof. Yeah, that, that's just crazy. Now, man. this is one of the realest this is one of the realest things ever, right? Like I will. Let me see if I can po I'll post a picture right now on uh, I'll post a picture right now on Twitter right now. I'll post it under my um here we go, my live stream here. <laughs> Did he do it? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking terrible, man. That's fucking horrible. Think Mark, think. Let me find it. Where did I leave it? It's one of the best pictures of all time. God damn it, Miguel. <laughs> All right, I posted it. Okay, cool. So I'm going to share my Twitter real quick. I had to post it. Look what Hexy Bastard just put in. <laughs> GM. Oh, wait, what? Please say Yenis. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> What's up, Hexy Bastard, you motherfucker? <laughs> DC even talking about Diddy. I just want to say I was talking about the Diddy thing before Diddy was talking about Diddy, you know? No Diddy. No, but here's the picture right here, right? Tell me this ain't the truth. Bros, this is the realness, bro. <laughs> Kanye been saying, bro. Kanye been, dude, I'm telling you, I knew, like, bro, they're going to come to Jay-Z and Beyonce next. They're the next ones up. Now, this, all right, since all this Diddy shit, all right, this is all this Diddy stuff has been happening in the market, right? It's had me thinking, huh? All right. Epstein. More than likely, they're using him to incriminate people so they could have stuff happen for influence, right? 
okay. They were using, they're probably using Diddy. They, Diddy did some illegal shit. He got in trouble. He signed some paperwork. He became an informant and he started using, allegedly, um, he's then from there, he started using this pull and influence to incriminate other people so they could get them, so they can get these other incriminated people to do stuff that they want them to do. Yep. Did he do it? Now, this right here put me on a very, very interesting sort of frame of reference in mind sort of scape that I'm on right now, when I started thinking, could anyone in the crypto space possibly be a Fed? Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. There's a couple of people that are in big trouble, big, big trouble. They're still roaming the streets in the cryptos, in the crypto land. Now, I wouldn't say this very lightly, so I'm saying allegedly. Yo, I, you know, I, for, you know, I've like, you know, me, like, like, I've forgiven like Trevon for like stuff being, because I understand you can be sort of, you can be in the crypto space, enter it for your first cycle, be kind of dumb and don't understand that, you know, you're shilling a fucking like a straight, like there's one thing where it's like, you're legit, you're like, you're, you know, the, every everything's a Ponzi at the end of the day, right? But legitimately where you're like, you didn't know it was a scam and you was a scam, right? Like Bit, like a Tre, was it Trevon James or whatever his name is, um, was talking about, you know, BitConnect, right? Yeah. This homie, has been in so much trouble lately that like, yeah, he went off of YouTube for a minute. You know, they were, they were like, they were trying to search his home still after like he had, I think he had done some other stuff. I'm not going to go into too much details into that stuff, but then he's then just like, I saw a tweet yesterday that like shook me that I was like, oh, and then I was on this, I was thinking about this. Then I saw this and then I, my brain, my two brain cells together, like they rub together like coconuts <laughs> like and they were like, yo, what if Trayvon? What if Trayvon? What if Trayvon's a fucking? Fi he, so he wouldn't go to jail. He signed some shit, and is like, think about this. He he's launching. He's launching. I don't know if it's a joke or not because I'm I'm just not going to spend any more fucking time on bullshit. But like, as a, as a as a you know as a Twitter fingers guy walking through walking through Twitter and stuff, I saw he's launching the contract code to BitConnect on Pulse Chain, and I was like, why the fuck? Why the fuck would you be doing that? Think about that. Why? Mm. Mm. Why? The only reason you would launch that shit, all right, for one, right? If I got in trouble for BitConnect, I would never, I mean, outside of maybe just some people mentioning it, then I'm like, all right, this is what happened. Like, it was stupid. That, that's it, right? But then he's launching BitConnect on Pulse Chain. The only, so either one, to enrich himself, or two, to make Pulse Chain look really bad. Bros, Change the that is fucking suspect as fuck, man. I don't know. Look, I'm not doing any more research into this. Fuck, I know I'm an FA guy, but like, fuck all that, dude. I nah, bro. I ain't wasting any more time. That's all. That's the last time I'm gonna talk about it. But like, Yeezy, he's come on, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling really oh. yay right your now. Your boy Hexo Cristo, <laughs> Hexo Cristo here is telling you guys, man. I think there's some feds. There's some feds, bros. There's some feds perpetrating right now because they can't stop Pulse Chain. And like now, if I was now, if I was being more conspiratorial, who's he in bed with? Zen. Isn't Zen gonna be launching some fucking L1 pretty soon? So wouldn't it be cool to have some FUD on Pulse Chain to send people to Zen? Who has Zen bags? I wonder. Oh shit. Either it's either an inside job to make money like that, or it's or he signed a contract in his Fed, and he's using they're using certain people in the crypto industry to fund projects that they, they they want them to lose some steam, so that the ones that the the shield verified fucking bullshit projects get fucking heat. I'm just saying, you guys, that was so hard, bro. That deserves a Pepe, man. That was some crazy shit. Does Jack eat Impossible Burgers? Of course he does. Does he? Is he on a vegan diet? Yes, he is. <laughs> but R.I.P. Anyone who bought the market bought the coin. R.I.P. R.I.P. I just killed the club. Yeah, I think it got you right here, bro. Bro is owed a level world building thing. <laughs> bro, look, I'm saying this all allegedly though. 
But like sometimes when I'm sitting back, sipping on some yak, having a little coffee right there, right? No, no. RH is not a fan. No, that's not what I said. Herb. Herb. That's not what I'm, I'm saying. Not, I'm not even going to put his comment up. Yeah, I'm not saying then. If you were a mod, I'd unmod you for that. I'm not saying that for Richard. I'm saying is the powers that be don't like that Pulse Chain is out here. And they're trying. So normally in the market, the government could pass things in place to put things in, in position, right? But because crypto is still in this kind of gray zone, it's kind of hard for them to do so. So they're using almost like CIA agents or FBI agents or whatever to put things in place. So certain blockchains win, other ones look bad. This is why I think there's been FUD cases on this because, dude, a lot of people in Hex made money. A lot of people in Pulse Chain in the future are probably going to make some change. And this isn't this just for that because there's, there's other L1s like Phantom. Phantom was hated by everybody. You know why? Yep. You want to know why? Let me tell you why, Kyle. Why? All the main VCs passed on it. So after after the the main VCs who the South the South Koreans who launched Phantom originally all left and dumped their tokens and, and abandoned the project. Our boy Andre took it over, said, fuck that shit, we're coming back. They offered three arrows capital. They offered all kinds of other funds money because every every fund was copying three arrows capital. Since three arrows capital passed, a bunch of other hedge funds passed. And then it became this fucking like outside fucking bullshit project. And then it launched like crazy. And then that's when not, that's when people were like, oh, and they got phantom bullshit, bullshit. And then if what think about that. Since it was an outsider and the VCs didn't get in, that's why Phantom had all these other fucking projects that did crazy we made stupid money so 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 what you're saying is vc money good community led let's fuck up the narrative i'm not saying all vcs are bad but i'm just saying you know richard is a, to is a total fed big sky traveler <laughs> bro you're too old for that bro conspiracy shit bro i need chill <laughs> <laughs> sorry i love you bro bro if, if richard's a fed i'm fed up <laughs> i'm not saying this jack's saying this jacob jacob jack jack J jacob john jacob jefferson is saying this right here it's just a little conspiracy theory of mine. I hope I'm wrong. I hope that's all this shit. I mean, more than like, I mean, hey, you know, I, I, I will give Trev on this, man. He's a smart, he's a smart cat. This man launches projects, makes money for himself and stuff like that. And, uh, but like, y'all got to be careful, bro. I'm like, man, y'all are getting too old to be falling for this fuck shit, bro. <laughs> what happened? All right, let's see. There are, there are, there are many feds. Peblin is. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm like, who the fuck trusts Google for real? People forget too quick, man. We got to remove her. Out. Dude, I'm just seeing it, bro, because there's so much money. There's so much money in this crypto space that's coming up, dude. They're 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 doing they're doing intentionally, dude. Come on. All right, let's be for real. Like, like this is not even tinfoil hat. Who believes that bridge went down with that cargo ship? Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, you guys. Let's be for real here. The cargo ship legitimately. The cargo ship legitimately got cyber attacked. The power went off. It went off multiple times. When it hit the bridge, only one or two sections should have fell off. Not the whole thing kind of crashed. Where were the tugboats? Ryan Garcia called it. You're right. Yep. You know something Ryan Garcia just said recently? This is crazy. This is I'm saying this on the show. This is how insane it is. He said, what, there's going to be an earthquake June 6th that's going to hit LA and Las Vegas? Yep. It's going to take down both Sin Cities. That's what he said. All right. And, and my Sodom and Gomorrah? <laughs> I mean, but if I'm, I if mean, I'm, yo, but if I'm being for real though, though, like, what's worse, L.A. or Vegas? Yo, L.A. is what. L.A. is shithole. a lot. But worse. we do have a lot more. We have good people in both cities and stuff. Yes, so like, of course, stuff, bro. If you actually been to Las Vegas, man, like, you have to get way off the strip to do anything bad. Like, <laughs> it's Disneyland. If you don't got cat, if you ain't knocking, if you ain't clocking no loot, then you ain't knocking no boots. You know what I'm saying? But like, um, yeah, I'm just saying, man. Watch it does happen, bro. bro. Holy dude, today we had like a little earthquake in here that we like Kyle had to fix up this whole studio, man. Yeah, like, I had it was I had, trashed. I had literally bro it broke a moon, man. I was sad. It broke our moon man. Like actually, I'll pull here, I'll bring it. Yeah, bring it, bring it. Our moon man fell, broke and stuff. All these cabinets fell. Everything that wasn't bolted to the ground didn't like didn't fall. Broke our legs out. Our man's missing the legs, man, but he's still out here, bro. You see that that 
My man still got his brain on his leg. He's got head on. He's got a good head on his shoulders right here. <laughs> Vegas is active as fuck. Yeah. Let's see. What is this right here? Uh... <laughs> but yeah, Crypto Watcher. Oh, Where the hell are the tugboats? Funny. They're not there. I love you. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro, if Richard's a Fed, man, that Fed made us a lot of money, I guess. <laughs> He's freeway Rick. <laughs> no, but all jokes aside, though, I just it just, that just came to my mind, dude. Like, and like think about it, right? If you got a if you got a family and stuff like that, like you be actively trying to skirt the law. But like, like let me let me let me create something on a chain that got me in trouble last time, big time. Let me just remake the whole thing and launch it. Just, bro, that's mm. let's be careful, you guys. Let's be careful. Like anyway, yeah, that's that's what it is. That's not how you not get rich, you guys. But crypto riches, that's how you get rich, man. You want that wife changing money, you gotta buy crypto, man. You gotta buy crypto and get in the fucking citadel, man. What are you doing, man? No more poor dot com. <laughs> I think that's a good question. As a matter sir. of fact. Right there. Let me post that for you guys. Bam. Boom, there you go, you guys. I'll tell you a live count right now. Mm, I think this let me is a good see question. how much we at. Right now, a glorious moment's about to happen. We are two members away from 600 people in the Citadel. Ooh, woo wee Sheesh. Yes, sir. Damn, that's crazy, man. Poor no more. Poor no more, you guys. Are you worried about her location, player? You know she with me. <laughs> Quit bothering us. <laughs> it's purple. Let these Nazi blood sucking anti American parasites that want to make you and your family slaves know that we are standing up against them and we are red blooded and we are not slaves and we are not bowing down to them. I'm not bowing down. I'm at the tip of the spear. I get death threats every day. And I, you know what? I am honored to be who I am. I'm honored to just be an average person that stood up 15 years ago and said, I'm going to defend the republic. I'm going to defend the family. I'm going to defend the Second Amendment. I'm going to fight against abortion. I'm going to see what happens when I really take action. And we have laid waste to the enemy. If you simply unloose yourselves and become the leaders you are, we will sweep this scum into the gutter. We will defeat the New World Order. We will crush the tyranny. Second hour, straight ahead. Stay with us. I live in a town where there's like no emo girls and no scene girls, and it sucks. There's all these basic bitches who listen to Taylor Swift. Ooh, Taylor Swift is disgusting. I'm just really pissed. <laughs> I, I, look, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys. I'm, I'm gonna t I'm gonna tell you guys a little story, man, because I'm Hexo Cristo. A lot of my names are biblical and stuff like that, like the bars I do, you know. But. If I'm being for real, the most people cheating in America is, is in Miami. Bar yeah. none. Bar fucking none, bro. Fuck with your... Even with, look, look, this guy's a guy living in Vegas. I'm telling you this. Yeah, if you're going to get into dirt, you're going to get into dirt. But homie, like, I mean, Miami is a different level. And like, bro, like, Miami's like half underwater right now. I mean, the, there's, all, <laughs> there's that whole trend on TikTok just literally saying, what are you doing if your boyfriend or girlfriend goes to Miami? It's over. It's over. You like, I, I burn. I burn the bitch's clothes. Yep. She's out the house. It's over. I might even burn the house down because there's only a, a <laughs> whole thing. I have, to, I have to chemically fucking <laughs> clean myself off, bro. There's no chicks in crypto. There's barely chicks. No, there is chicks in crypto, but like a lot of them are using are bringing users thirst traps. It's the boyfriend running the account. Mm. Uh, there is a there, like, like there is a couple girls in crypto that are you know good girls. I mean, there's actually a, there's actually quite a few of them in Pulse Chain in the Hex community and stuff like that. Shout out to all of them, man. Um. That's crazy. There's actually enough for like I like I might like I might not be able to name them all. That's that's actually pretty good things. So like Pulse Chain's got an above average amount of girls and stuff in the space, which is good, right? Uh, most girls are in the Bitcoin space or basically just paid shills for the most part, or they're, or they're using. I mean, most of them are just using crypto as a way to promote OnlyFans. Or to, stop me when I'm wrong. <laughs> I am protecting your crypto riches. Like stop me, stop me if I'm lying. 
<laughs> this is this bitch is, ain't spending all day watching the charts. I don't care. No. <laughs> now one in ten. Yeah, there is there is some. There really is some. We've got some in the Citadel. They're incredible women that are out here fucking doing their research, got portfolios, they know what to do with the means. But that half these bitches couldn't even fucking cook mince meat. She can't cook, she can't clean. You she can manage a portfolio. See, Jacob got the right. Once the trend ace arrives, I go to Miami. <laughs> I ain't lying about this. This is facts right here. You want to know? All right. You what we've all heard, like, you know, she's like, you know, spoils like milk or fucking ages like wine. There is this is how this is how crazy like op, play a 14 meme for a second. Watch. Let, okay. let, let, me, let me explain. The, before you play, Kyle, before you play. Crypto, this is how crypto ages guys. It was like a me, bad I, year because look, I'm only 14. Look what it did to me. <laughs> 14 years old? Yeah, 14 years old. And look look what I look like. <laughs> for crying out. Now I was one of the beautiful people. Young, fit, sexy, tan. <laughs> Look at me. Mexican. Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should see me. Like, I have some interview. I have my first interview I did with, with Richard in 2020, bro. I, I'm, like, so young. Like, bro, it's crazy. You guys would be like, what the f I look 22, 21, dude. It's crazy. <laughs> Crypto ages. Uh, and it ages, man. And I'm, like, I age. I mean, I, I'm, like, I age, like, black don't crack. But it's cracking me a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, some of my African, some of my African brothers in the crypto space, bro, are looking like they're starting to crack over here. I'm just saying, they're they're aging better than some of the whites out here. Just they got that salt and pepper going. But like, yo, bros, <laughs> I got some homie, like, bro, I got some homies, I got some homies in Solana and stuff. I have some brothers and shit that are like last cycle they were baby faces cycle. They're starting to look a little peppery, you know? What I mean? <laughs> they're starting to look like paprika, a little, a little, a little, a little, ta ta ta. You know what I'm saying? Pizzazz. What do you think it does to women? Most women age out like a half a cycle in crypto. I've seen it, bro. They're hot. Like this is this is a roll of Tomasi official quote. You know that hit the, I hit the da -da 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 -da. <laughs> right. Here it is. Okay. Here it is, and it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! No, 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 but all jokes aside, man, put that super chat up of uh, and I, uh, you guys, if you watch your questions read or something like that, you know, super chat away, I will read them all and stuff. It's the last hexy bastard one, whatever. Oh, shout out to hexy bastard, one. crazies. Uh, women equal headache in crypto death. <laughs> 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 yeah, don't get distracted, you guys. I mean, I've said this before. I'm trying to protect your crypto riches. The reason this this stream is called Crypto Riches is because not only I'm going to tell you how to make it, I'm going to tell you how to keep it, how to save it, how to protect it. Condom wallets, everything, man. The only fucking person giving you this type of game besides me and Cultivate Crypto are the two dons of the game. I'll say something. Yeah, go for it. Out of all the YouTube channels I've ever seen about crypto, DCC... And CC and cultivate crypto give the most layered goddamn information on multiple ecosystems. Because my God, there's so many just maxis or into certain L1s, L2s. It's fucking bullshit. No one's teaching you like this. Boom. This is a first, bro. First, when I saw you interview Richard, I thought you were Japanese. What? <laughs> really? I could probably see that. Yeah, like there's a lot of Japanese that have like that brown tan and stuff. That makes sense. Uh, that's pretty funny. More shows than a 404, man. But, like, all right. You guys have all seen that joke and stuff. I think this is on Family Guy where, like, like Brian, Brian's, like, some creepo hanging out at the skate rink or the bowling alley. I keep getting older. They keep staying the same. My name's Leo. <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's true. There's always a new 18-year-old. You still can be – You Pause. still can, The glasses. Yeah, the glasses. I did have some – I had some bomb out. Those glasses were expensive, too. They were the Burberry ones, no? Yeah, uh, those. Yeah, those are custom made Burberries, and then I had, uh, I got some Gucci frames right now. They're fucking dope, dude. That's some yeah. really comfortable Gucci glasses. But um, anyway, as I continue on, man. But here, here's here's let me let me continue on with this, right? Look, it's just I've seen the grift so many times, bro. Like bitches been trying to grift me since like fucking World of Warcraft. <laughs> let's let you know, bro. That's how fucked it is, dude. These online hoes. She's you got like. Augment She's got a armor. boyfriend. Augment my she, why the fuck are you asking me for money? <laughs> no ass grass or anything. Like, no. Like, the, the, like, 
some of y'all need to read the book, man. The holy book, man. The Rational Mail series one through three and all the rest of the books, man. But read the number, read those first three books, and you're gonna your mind's gonna get blown. That middle book, bro, it is it's crazy. In the middle, I gotta bring I gotta bring my signed Rolo Tomasi copies here. Oh, yeah, we have to. Yeah, we'll we'll bring them. But like the middle book right there where it shows you where like where a woman is in her life and how she acts is so damn on point for like 99% of women. It's crazy. It's wild. You're gonna be like, I'm I'm I like I, I'm a special snowflake. Yeah, okay, sure. Statistically speaking, no, you're not. You know, <laughs> but um, dollar cost chinito. <laughs> dollar Stupid. chinito. Cost chinito. <laughs> but uh, those books saved my life, dude. As did mine, man. They helped me out so much, man. Going through some tough times and stuff, man. But it is knowing that stuff. So you like, it's bad enough that like we're we're like we're like we're. Have you ever seen those, that meme picture of like you know like. You're like you're holding onto your treasure gold at the top of the mountain, and you're like the guy at the bottom of the mountain's going, "Oh, you're so lucky!" And behind you, there's all these jagged glass cliffs, explosions, razor mm. wire, all to be stolen by some bitch. <laughs> Honestly, though. Honestly, though. Honestly, though. That is crazy, you guys. That is crazy. You do all this shit. You suffer. You work through your 20s. You do all kinds of crazy shit. You, just to get divorce raped? Mm hmm No, I'm not saying like, you know, you, you don't, like, if you got it, you know, hey, it ain't tricking if she's yours, right? Or whatever, right? I'm not, you know, but you know, there's levels to this shit, yeah. right? You got a lot of, like, spending, a, like, if, it's like, if spending $1,000 is like, if spending $1,000 is like you spending a 20, you know, it's like, yeah. it is, you know, that is one thing that's kind of tough. Even like we've talked, I've talked, we've had discussions with like Fresh and Fit and Myron about this stuff, and it's it's pretty. There is there is this weird thing where like you have hella money, and you know if like if I if I like as today right, if I were to pull a twenty dollar bill, if you have a lot of money, it's like oh like it's like a thousand dollars, whatever, right? There's no divorce rape if you don't get married. That's true, Galaxy Brain. But depending on where you live too, because there's states where if you if you and the chick live in the same place for over ten years, you get married. That's facts. That's facts. Here, let me pull out three dollars on my wallet. Let's see. Okay, here we go. We got three dollars right here. Okay. When like when this when this when this is like three dollars, you know, you know what I mean, Lat? Like, you know, like yeah, sure, you can, she can have some stuff, right? Cool, right? But then it just gets it just good. But like it, it's it's crazy, man. Like you've got to fix that part of your life because it's really dangerous. Right. Mm -hmm. But like, you know, I see what, it, I see what it is. It's, it's, it's a, it's a grift, right? The biggest, I mean, I think someone said Wendy. Oh no, Wendy. is cool, man. She's, she's cool, man. She's, she, she's one of the good ones. Oh, that sounds racist. Oh, thank you. No problem. <laughs> You're welcome. That's sexist. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. Yeah. But, um, living with women is a lot of, <laughs> a lot of men's downfalls. Uh, wait, wait, what was it? Living with a woman. Wait, I can't see it. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, when, oh yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with some dirty, dirty Fiat? About to throw in some bitch's face? No, you <laughs> no, it's for the tables, baby. Shit, it's vague, vague. this is a cash town, man. Guns and guns and cash. But um, people think sacrifices are bad. The only female, the female grip is worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude. Yeah, definitely. Now I'm not, but I hate. I'm not with all that like abandoning your kids shit. I think that's some lame shit. Yeah, because I'm trying to rug rug the woman out of the kids. You know. <laughs> yeah, single fatherhood. <laughs> yes, I mean statistically speaking, there's very small differences. So the best. All right, this is the tr this is truth with statistics, which I don't have on me, but I know people that have them. I'll find them. I, I you know, shout out Sartain, shout out Rolo, shout out everyone else in the red pill. But like statistically speaking, the be the absolute best scenario for a for a for kids to grow up in is in a two parent household, straight male, straight female household. The second best is a single father household. The absolute worst is single female. Facts. Statistically speaking, the most amount of murders and rapists are from single family or single woman homes. Single yeah. Single, single mother households are five times more likely to commit suicide. Same nine times more likely to drop out of high school, ten times more likely to abuse chemical substances. I, I love I love twiddling the fucking world's smallest <laughs> violin around my finger. Just <laughs> just waiting for the right moment. <laughs> That's not true, Miguel. That's not true. <laughs> this is but this is facts. 
and no one no one talks about this shit. People talk like and look most most of the crypto streams they're out here just painting charts and doing bullshit when half no no I'm being so so generous. Oh my god, that was so generous. That was so gen Miguel. Stupid ass. Sorry. Ninety five percent of their predictions are wrong. Like way wrong. Like way wrong. It's it's like it's incredible. It's magnifique. It's it's like. I wouldn't say like, like because like the god of the game, the god of the game is my, is my boy from fucking Mad Money, right? That boy don't miss. You no, know, he misses so bad he don't miss. <laughs> like you imagine you you are so bad that you're good. You understand what level of like sorcery that is? Oh my god, I'm trying to remember his name. I'll find it right now. Well, who are you talking about? Uh, it's a guy that uh, back in history he always made the worst thing, <laughs> worst decisions. But it all worked out for him. Oh, the guy who kept failing upwards. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> oh my god, even a broke clock is right twice. That's true. That's that's Ooh. true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Protect yourselves from like, look, make money off of cults. Let's be for real here, right? What is a I teach this is crypto 101 right here. I know this is re revolutionary. Join the next the next crypto mindset course is coming out next month. Get in or be poor. Yep. Because you can tell some of you guys mix the basics. You guys don't know how to jab. You guys don't know how to jab. You guys don't know how to shuffle. All you guys do is fucking around with chicks' butts doing truffle shuffles. Truffle butter. <laughs> Raw dog and whores. Dogs. <laughs> Dogs. I'm talking to you. Some of you, not you, new, new viewers. I was talking about Hexy Bastard. Talk to you. <laughs> talk about Timothy Dexter. Timothy Dexter. Yeah, right. that guy, the man who failed. Juan, in, uh, we'll have links and everything up next month and stuff. You'll see. It'd be hard to miss, bro. If you're actually watching our streams every week, you, I, I don't know how you'd miss it. The best advice I could tell you guys, if you're new to the channel, watch every fucking video me and Charlie do the main, the main live streams. You can watch some of the clips and shorts and stuff. But you got to remember with clip with shorts. You're only getting 30 seconds to 15 seconds. So, like, context is sometimes yeah. lost. So, here, here's the whole content game for shorts. Just say some wow shit that gets people mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or just, or like, what? That's not true. Then they check out your channel and stuff. And then, like, you know, it is what it is. It's so stupid. Same thing with Instagram. It's like, there's no way you could fit, like, you can fit a couple coherent things inside of reels and shorts and shit. But, like, the uh, the clips, you can actually, because it's a full 50, you can go 15 minutes, 13 minutes, 8 minutes. Yeah. Hexy bastard, leave me out of the shit. When well, you're 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 knee deep in the shit. <laughs> Speaking of that, go buy nine inch. Go buy BBC. He always <laughs> wraps up. <laughs> when more when more BBC yield farms. Hexy bastard, huh? One farm, huh? Well, actually, two farms. I got a vault and a farm. Hey. <laughs> TikTok, motherfucker! I'm waiting. Here, I'm gonna give you some sauce right here because, like, Hexy Bastard's my boy, my dog, right? That's what that's a test that I do. I shouldn't say this shit, but I need to say because some of you guys have been failing. All right, me and Charlie be testing people in Vegas. We see who gambles, who doesn't. If you gamble, I believe you. I'll oh. sort that out tomorrow. He said, "What farm you want? I'll well, sort it out." I'll tomorrow. sort it out tomorrow. This is what you need, bro. This I, I this is how we do it. Incentive token BBC. Who? Who? <laughs> that's evil isn't it <laughs> that's devilish right here right dude i got family members in my family they used to have my grandpa used to have a mustache that could go up to here bro i got it bro just look at this shit <laughs> <laughs> he said no nah. i shaved this mustache down don't don't fuck around don't, don't, don't see me in two years and i'll come back with a full-on fucking handlebars like no homo no diddy you know what <laughs> no i mean but diddy. i'm talking i'm talking about, i'm talking about like i'll grow i'll grow out the beard go straight like it'll be a little it'll be a little <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that'd be so funny for halloween Kyle, that i dress up like diablito from like loteria yeah yeah, yeah, like, yeah diablito. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, remember jackass 2 i think we're like uh the, the fucking they pump out and he falls oh, out yeah <laughs> <laughs> but think about that the incentive token for the nine inch ecosystem with the incentive token of the pulse x ecosystem Hmm. Interesting. Because your ecosystem is the only one that has an incentive token as well. There's only two incentive tokens in the whole and all the pulse chain. All the pulse chain. There's only two incentive tokens. 
I'll answer that in a minute, Kyle. But put it up in a minute, okay? There's only two incentive tokens in the whole ecosystem. What is it? BBC and um, incentive token, right? So if you pair those two together, give it some yield, that brings a lot of value over. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> fatality yeah those are the ones right there that that incentive pool bro that shit will go hard because that if you, you want to you want a vampire attack a little <laughs> that'd be so funny i i know hex will do it and then i will can you imagine like the charts like this tomorrow night at your music He's, he says messages have been sent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, bro. This is about to be crazy, bro. You know, it, th this meme right here is just for you, brother. This one's just for you. Let me find it. I haven't played it in a minute. This is this is just for Hexy Bastard. If I can fucking find it. Oh, my God. Am I blind here? The average penis size in America is 5.5 .5 inches. Guess what the average size at my company is? 8.3. Oh, but Royce, I was born with this penis. It's out of my control. Do you even watch porn, man? There are literally hundreds of ads for penis enlargement pills. Just click on one. They work, man. They fucking work. What, are you scared? You scared of your scared of having a big fat cock? You don't want to grow your dick. You don't want to grow your clientele. You don't want to increase your salary. You don't have any drive. Where are your goals, man? Why the fuck would I hire somebody who doesn't want a big dick? This is the shit that Hexy Bastard needs to do when he hires people. <laughs> like, Hexy Bastard, I'm sorry, brother, man, man. Like, mandatory cock measurements. Just gotta have a big fat cock? <laughs> I only hire nine inches. <laughs> if you don't Pause, no diddy. <laughs> Pause. No diddy. All right. I'm not saying that I've like that me and Charlie have like helped like billion dollar projects before. I'm not saying that. <laughs> but I'm saying said projects probably wouldn't be worth a billion if it wasn't for DCC and CC. Just got you going ultra instinct. Straight to the broth. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are we? Oh, uh, um, okay. He's like, no, no, I don't do some gay shit. What I do is I take in place the brothel, and then the brothel ladies tell me. <laughs> I mean, that's I mean, one I way mean, to do that's, it. that's less gay, yeah. Huh? You know that crypto rich. You know this is a rich conversation. I mean, you guys got to take this all with a grain of salt and stuff, man. If you're not joking, what the hell are you doing, bro? Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> You think joking? Yeah. Bro, I haven't heard that shit since I was that's, like, that's why that's old. That's a, damn, bro. That's like, last time I heard that was like, what, 19 years ago? Damn, that's so old, G. That's so old. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Hexy Bastard says, what about the gambling? Finish the points, sir. No, yeah, yeah. That's one thing I do is like, I, I, I'm like, um, when you, I learned, we, me and Charlie learn a lot about someone through how they gamble, if they gamble it. If they don't gamble at all, like, it shows me no, like you shouldn't be gambling a lot. Duh. I don't get look. I don't get a mad. I don't get mad at like I don't judge someone based off of how much they gamble. It's just how they gamble with what they have. Who? Right there. Book of Gains, chapter four, verse three. But if they gamble really hardcore, I'm like, God damn, brother. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I gamble on crypto. Good. That's good, Jacob. But like, you know, if you're in the, if you're in Sin if you're in Sin City, apparently, and you don't get on the craps table, you don't play blackjack, you don't play a little roulette, even if it's a hundred dollars. Me and Charlie are looking at you like Miguel, Charlie, stare at me because I ain't gambling with the Yeah, Kyle. <laughs> my bad. I want to grow my bags. All right. Now I because I know him. Comes from good stock. I'm corn fed. But you're looking a little suspicious right now, Kyle. <laughs> a little a tad. A ta but I will say, no, Kyle, Kyle's gambling. He just hits like. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put Kyle on blast here. I'm going to put Kyle on blast here. This is for real. I'm this, blackjack. I'll this, run this is some sad shit for me. Like, this is my brother. I'm talking about my brother here. I'm a solid snake. I can't. 
this is this is some sad shit, right? Me and Charlie are pot pipers of the craps table, right? We you know you know us, man. We hours. Um hours, bro. I mean, we 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 clean up pretty good at craps tables, right? Usually one loss for every two wins. It's kind of how it goes. So I'm usually I'm usually I'm I am I am making money when I'm crap playing craps over time, over overall, overall, right? But so I said to my brother, man, well, let's play some craps. I'll show you. I let my brother roll insta seven. Okay, that's it happens to everybody, right? Insta seven again. Three times in times, a row. Bro. In a row. How? Get how, Kyle? Kick. How are you related to me? I'm a metal how? snake. It says I can't gamble. Kyle, how? They say I can't gamble. How? <laughs> how, Kyle? This hurts me so bad, dude. It's like this is why I don't play with chance. I play the man in cards. I don't play with I don't play with chances. I I, I give financial guarantees. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lock, bro. <laughs> it's a lock, bro. I'm not saying I played roulette last night until four in the morning. I'm not saying that. I'll run it. What I'm saying is I won. Out. You're not tired when you're winning. You're tired when you're fucking losing. Crypto riches. When does the conversation start, sir? You've been you're you're in class right now. You're being taught right now. It all starts you're with being gambling. Taught. You're being taught. Crypto riches happens. It's happening right now. I protected you from from the fucking from the from the lust of fucking ugly women. I'm t I'm telling you basically. I'm showing you basically how to take risk adjusted investment. I just gave alpha right now on that BBC nine inch shit. It, of course it bro. Come on. It's DCC. Come, Come on, on, man. <laughs> Yellow Savage way. Yellow Savage way. Come on. Hexo Cristo. Litecoin Moses. Do Dogecoin Muhammad. Dollar cost crypto. Who are you talking to, brother? Shit. I'm I'm trying to come up with a Pepe name, but I'm out here, bro. Yo. Legitimately made a lot of money off of Pepe already. I ain't worried about coffees. Oh, that's so bad. I was about to say. Like saying Lito, but Pelito. <laughs> <laughs> Saying what? No, no, I can say it's a cold brew. Americanos taste like shit. Yeah, that's true. Ugh. If I did gamble, I would, it would be blackjack. That's okay. That's okay. Yes, yeah, me, me too. Me too. Yeah, I would say the most degen gambling of all. I guess I've tried all of it from like blackjack, roulette, craps. Mm. I've always wanted to play baccarat. Bakra, well, ah, Bakra, yeah, that's that's more like you're coin flipping almost yeah, in a way. Yeah, you're coin flipping in a way. Black, I, I put blackjack. Well, fuck. I mean, like I would say the most. If you're really good at throwing, if you're there's probably the highest skill so far. I mean, outside of like a text hold'em, craps, blackjack, then Bakrat, roulette. Are all chance games of chance? I've always wanted to run in on Mahjong, but you just have more ways to lose your money in roulette. But it's more funner because the hits are bigger. Yeah, like you put five dollars down on a number straight up, get one hundred and seventy-five dollars, hundred bucks, three thousand, some change. You're not built like me, dog. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> That's like a hundred fan. Of. Yeah. <laughs> Slots, slots is the most degen. No luck. Yeah, yeah, that's that's degenerate. There's a little strategy to it, but it's degenerate. But you actually hit like it's so stupid. Like sometimes, like you literally will win more money playing slots than you fucking will on anything because you some day, some days you ain't. There's nights where the slots are just hot. <laughs> Sorry, there's some nights when the slots like the slots are hot. No, there's some nights when the the slots are hot and some nights when like it's cold. This is why like you know it's it's having the, like I kind of relate all that shit to like. Tool, like toolings and shit like that. But anyway, I'm digressing. I'm just, I'm, I live in Vegas. You guys forgive me. I mean, this is what I do. Roulette is king. Yeah, roulette's cool, man. I like roulette. I mean, I, I won pretty good amount last night for uh, fun. fun. I'm, you know what I've been doing? Every time I went from the casino, I've been throwing a thousand into Gala and a thousand into fucking Phantom. <laughs> That's what I was just <laughs> talking about. No, right this now. is straight up. I have a rule. I have a rule. Whatever I gamble that night, if I do, if I lose, which is, which is like Rare. sadness. <laughs> I double. I put double what I lost that day and throw it into crypto. That's how I. That's how I. That's how I do it. So I felt like, oh fuck, I lost three thousand dollars. Six G's into a shit coin. Let's go. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I wish I had that beat from fucking Metro. <laughs> Hit that. <laughs> <laughs>
high limit. Yo, Jake, yo, my yo, respect for Jacob. High limit dragon at link always pays, yeah. baby. Oh, oh but that's something generous. I love you, bro. That's great. <laughs> All the hoes in the casinos. That's true. Oh, here you go, Miguel. Name top three casinos. Trying to make sure there's nobody here with a gun behind my head. Uh oh, okay, legitimate. Well, it depends on what you want to do. Like every casino has its as its it just depends. Like give me give me some uh g- what, what depends games if you you're like? trying to if you're trying to go for chicks and stuff like that, or you're trying to gamble. That's kind of like the two distinguishing factors here. True. Aria, Cosmo, Bellagio. That is a good pick. That's a good pick. You do have to have more money for the play, those, of course. Yes. Yeah. Have you been to Red Rock? Oh, yeah, yeah plenty yeah. of times. Plenty of times. Uh, the crap's kind of mid there, if I'm being honest. But it's a uh, chilled out place. It's a pretty chilled out place. That's actually, if you go to Red Rock Casino, that's actually when you see the most celebrities, more like e celebrities, really. Yeah. You see a lot. I've, I've met, I've seen Sneeko there a bunch of times and shit. Um, I've seen quite a lot of people there. Um, Dana White's there a lot and stuff like that. Um, yeah, you see quite a Steve will do. It's been there. I mean, Steve will do. It basically lives there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. MGM because they have European. Yeah, they have. I will say the craps suck. The craps suck there. But yeah, their European roulette's really good. Like that. That's a real Hexy Bastard showed me that one. I didn't even know it existed. He just found it. Like he just he just sniffed around. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I live near the Red Rock. Uh, Red Rock, but the best women all live on the Strip. Yeah. 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 yeah are all on the Strip. Of course. Of course. That's where, that's where, that's where that's we're getting our honey in. Yep. <laughs> Airport's yeah. just ten minutes away. Something about Excalibur that gets him going. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, that's uh, I don't know if that's the there's there's hose there for sure, but like I don't know if that's the hose you want. I mean, hey, you know, a lot of honey. Yeah, that's right. If you're knocking loot, you can knock in some boots, I guess. <laughs> All right, Kyle, let's get some super chats real quick, and we'll talk. We'll let's get more into uh, we'll get more into the crypto riches. Okay, we got Zenden with the nine ninety nine super chat saying, "Why do people keep saying altcoins jumped one to three months after BTC happening when it all actually it looks like it's more of a year later?" Also, I think Pulse will drop more. Got one hundred and fifty k in there. Well, um, let me see something real quick. All right, what do people say altcoins jump one to three months after the Bitcoin happening when they actually looks like they're actually more a year later? Well, the thing is, if you look at it, right, like if off of like you can't you like you have to look. You're right. There's tried and true rules of thumb that happen, but sometimes you have to like look at every every single cycle is its own individual snowflake. Right. Got a disc. Yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. Take care, man. Later, Hexy. Um. Excalibur sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. That night it did. Anyway, um, basically, so if if that but off the case, right? Like, no, that's that's actually terrible. That's terrible. But this cycle I would have been really stupid because I mean most alts have run along with I mean, sure, Bitcoin and Ethereum bought them first, and then it looked it took about six months for most L1s to bleed out. So, like, what was it? Like June, July, and June, July to August was basically the loads for most L1s. Best time to be buying. That's when we bought Solana. That's when we bought Phantom. That's when we bought everything, right? And if people had missed that and waited for three, four, that, that's normie. You have to be careful. That's normie. If I'm understanding your question correctly, if I'm not, forgive me. But um, why do people keep saying altcoins jumped one to three months after the Bitcoin happening? You want to buy before the Bitcoin happening. Like, like when you think Bitcoin happening, think, think of these guys explaining it to you. Like, literally, this is the level of IQ. And we're going to talk about the Bitcoin happening. Then the happening is happening in April, and the design is to cut, start cutting the Bitcoin in half, and and for the miners, it will help increase the value of Bitcoin. So that's what our goal is to increase the value of Bitcoin. Yeah. So they they know price go up, but they don't know why. <laughs> right so this is why i'm saying like all the normies all the dum dums get in way after because they hear about it. and then here's the sad part you have got the guys who deserve to get fucked because they left the market they come back late fuck them right but the ones i feel bad for which are like the uber drivers and the fucking bartenders and mm-hmm. because you know what look it makes sense right people with money they're driving around everywhere in the city like they're congregating they're going to bars they're going to cigar lounges there's like i mean it's so funny we, we like i i do it like we have guys who tell us that when they go to those strip clubs and stuff, right? They're like the host, bro. 
Oh, fuck me, dude. <laughs> fuck me, dude. No, 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 I know no, what no, you're no. going to say. I, should too. I say this? Should I say this? Protect the innocent. I'm going to protect the innocent a little protect bit. Protect the innocent. But a very well-known hexagon, you guys know. <laughs> I may have said too much already. <laughs> so, allegedly, a very well-trusted student of mine <clears throat> who will be protected under witness protection programs here went to a titty club. And that said, that said stripper said, oh, I'm in crypto too. I have hex. What? what? <laughs> huh. There were signs, you guys. There were signs. This is before we, we topped out. You know, I kind of do love it when, like, strippers and stuff, they buy the tops on shit. <laughs> Just they get wrecked. There are exit These liquidity. filthy whores are taking my money. Well, fuck them. Let them burn to the ground. <laughs> I'm onboarding butt, butt naked. <laughs> There's top signals everywhere. Well, tops were off at that point. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, shit, dude. Strippers have MetaMask on their phones now. The hoes be learning. <laughs> hoes be learning, bro. Yeah, no, legitimately. Oh, I hope. No, that's when we found out about it. That's when we found it. We found out about it from somebody that went to that event that told us. <laughs> but I protect the innocent. So I don't know what you're talking about. But you know this prominent hexagon. You know him so well. So on, it's so unbrand. It's on brand. <laughs> <laughs> but I digress. Let's keep going. Uh, yeah, go back to that question real, real quick. Do I think pulse? No, it's gonna stay above the sack rate. Yeah, I've got 150k in there. Hey, pretty nice, ladies Fast. and gentlemen. That's... That's pretty good, brother. If you want a consultation, hit the DCC up. I um, my prices have like gone up. Both me and Charlie have doubled the price of a consultation. Just FYI. But just because it was time, you know, it's really busy and stuff like that. But um, but there is people that send me messages beforehand and stuff like that. They will be getting the old price, but future consultations and stuff will be at a higher price. Just FYI. That's why it's so important to join the Citadel and the Crypto Mindset course, because you get a lot of value out of that. But if anyone here is playing with a very large portfolio, please keep that in mind that, you know, you know, protect yourself. There you yeah, go. man. All right, next one. We got Victor Garcia with the 999 super chat saying, "What's up, DCC? I'm 23 with four ETH, 2.7k Phantom, 20 million pulse, 45 million pulse X, 184,000 P hex, 626,000 E hex, 8,000 Gala, four Alluvium, still DCA. Do you think it's possible to hit 150k plus? Was in two CMCs and soon to be in the Citadel. Fuck Sheesh. yeah, man. Woo." I think, bag. let me see. Yes, you will hit it, but it's going to take a little bit. It's going to take, you're still DCing. That's good. I take advantage of Phantom right now. Yeah. I take a heavy advantage of Phantom and Pulse right now. Um, ba -da 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 -da. Your Gala and Alluvium positions. There's certain coins where the, the prices are going to get start getting kind of crazy because I think after the neck, after Alluvium rips up and comes down, I think it doesn't go below 200 bucks anymore. It might, it may be just stuck at like two twenty five to three hundred dollars as just boring point, just like mm -hmm. how it is now. Has been stuck sort of a like transitional phase. transitional period yeah. where it was like it's been. It's been, if you look at it, like it hit eighty dollar low for phantom for alluvium, and then um, in terms of like when after it hit a hundred bucks and some change, it's been slowly grinding up ten dollars every couple of weeks. And now it's sitting at like what a buck fifty. Last I looked, let me look at alluvium. 144. So like at some point when it when it when it shoots up to six hundred dollars, it'll come down to two hundred, maybe two, maybe three hundred bucks and should be chilling at the price point. And so I would definitely, definitely, definitely up those bags. But I think yeah, I should be able to hit that. That's not too crazy. I mean, um yeah, I mean you're sitting on a really nice bag of a of a phantom right there, too. You know, like uh, I do believe phantom will hit ten dollars at some point, right? I do like by the summer we should be around two dollars fifty cents on phantom. Right now it's at a dollar. So um, Phantom is something that I'm aggressively still DCAing into, obviously myself. Um, 
alluvium as well, gala as well. There's certain coins, like even Ethereum. Like I'm still buying stuff right now, but there, there comes a point in time. Maybe with I think the first coin I'll probably stop DCAing into is going to be Ethereum at some point. Once it reaches above four or five thousand bucks, it's just there's you know there's just places where your money can just be used more effectively. Right now it's three thousand five hundred dollars. That's still a great price for Ethereum. As long as you're buying under forty four hundred dollar Ethereum, you're good. But buy your Ethereum as soon as you can. All right, next. There we go. We got Alberto with the two Canadian. Look at Harmony One. It's been riding the floor. Yeah, sure. I'll pull it up. Yeah, one's one. Uh, that coin's been doing. Was has been doing. It's one of the only coins I'd say it was kind of. It kind of almost it basically just rug basically. But um, let me look. Last three months, last year. You want to share your screen? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Harmony one. Uh, let's see. Well, so this is the last year, basically, right? It's been going down, bottomed out here at basically 90% of a penny, 80% of a penny, currently sitting at three cents. Yeah, I actually saw some people talking about this one and stuff. Some VC, VCs have been talking about Harmony one and stuff like that. And like, who knows? Maybe it can come back because the thing is, the hard part with this one is like, this is a tough one for me to come in to it because they're not going to get the unlike unlike phantom like they're not going to get the bridge money but even with the bridge money that was took took for both phantom and from harmony one phantom still is shining the market mm -hmm. cap is high yeah but it's not at a billion so i mean like it's it's like everything's going to pump right so i mean i wouldn't be shocked with this one pumping like i know when i know when game fights pumping um south korea invests heavily into game fight South Koreans will have a lot of money and then they'll probably just ape some pity money into Harmony One and they'll pump to a billion. So there is money. There is this thing could actually pump still. If we look from its all time highs, I mean, like, what was it at? It was at 35 cents. It's currently three cents. So it needs to do 10X. a 10x. Yep. A 10x. So I would take some massive profits on this if it gets back to eight to 12 cents, somewhere in that range there. But it's not a, it's not a terrible buy. You see, there's still there's so much opportunity. Even the rugs can be unrugged. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, we got Sadie Han with the 499 super chat saying, "What is the best way to protect my MetaMask wallet from hackers?" Don't connect to malicious websites. Stop it, connecting your website. Stop connecting your MetaMask to a bunch of stupid meme coin websites. Stop using stupid exchanges. Stop giving, like, don't, most hackers are going to either hack you from you accepting a contract or uh, you're, you're uh, using a really shady exchange or a, like you use a big one, right? This is why I like Apple over Google is that a lot of people get their money stolen from basically uh, downloading Google apps and they, that are fake. And then, they, and then all their phone being corrupted and then they jack all money on the phone or you have a metamask that's the same meta like if you if you do decide if you do have a mobile wallet it should not be the same as an actual wallet you're using on the computer so there's just a lot of it's just being dumb with stuff right if you it, the way you do it is you make a brand new metamask that's for the degenerate stuff and then when you take profits you move those funds off into another wallet that's never even touched uniswap or anything if your wallet's never been touched by anything, it's just, if it's a virgin wallet, then it's likely that it's going to get rugged. It comes down to you being really stupid with your private keys, as well as your private keys should never, 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 never be on your, you never should put it on your notes. It shouldn't take a screenshot of it. You shouldn't take a picture of it. You shouldn't send it over fax. Nothing. You never should scan it. It should never be anywhere ever that's anything digital it should be written down on a piece of paper or in stainless steel metal that's hidden that you've never taken a picture nothing safety put away and, and on top of that your seat phrases should never be given to a lawyer and you never should be put into a fucking safety deposit box because fuck the motherfuckers mm -hmm. they can open that shit there's four there's the three ladies liquor and leverage is another one lawyers yep the four l's There you go. Then we got Sadie Han with the 199 super chat. Thank you. Oh yeah, and also yeah, and uh, my boy here is right, right here. I've seen people on X having their soul token stolen because because that's because people are using uh, people are using their iPhones as like as like their devices or whatever, which like you could right, but you have to keep updating the software. So a lot of people are like, oh, this is my this is my air gap thing that's never been updated and stuff. It's protected, and then there's an exploit they find with it. So you have to keep updating your stuff. 
yep. it is what it is. This is why we that's why we we recommend, you know, like a Windows or like a Linux if you like that shit, you know. Yeah. Okay, we got Carson Reed with the five dollar super chat saying yes. Phantom is still a good buy right yes. now. What do you think would yes. be the next low before it goes to the moon? Yes. You heard it here. Yes. Yes. C. Is Phantom a buy? Yes. What the fuck's this shit? Wait, hold up. Let me uh, let me pull it up. Pull up the screen. Would I buy Phantom at a dollar and one cents? Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's all time high is three twenty nine. So it's getting closer to its all time high. It's come down a little bit. So I would DCA now, and the absolute lowest it could probably go to is probably eighty cents. It's not coming to sixty anymore. It's not happening anymore. Ooh, if I could catch it at eighty, though. bro. Eight, remember when I was when we were like, I don't know if I'm gonna buy it thirty cents or forty cents. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is this is kind of tough right now. You know, when it was down here, right? No one wanted to buy except for us. Then there's this whole period here where it was like oscillating between twenty cents, thirty cents. Golden period. Still, you're looking you're looking nice right now. I think I still got a legacy bag from like nine cents. Yes, sir. <laughs> I had I've had some guys that are in the OG chats going like, "Holy fuck! I thought Phantom Rug. They have some OG bags." And they're like, "Oh my god, I have money!" <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! Right? We gotta get that one on the soundboard. When someone told me like, "Oh no, I dumped all my bags," like, like is like, I took some profits, but like this is why we we like it's really cool. Like, like jewel like i took a bunch of profit on jewel and stuff but i kept the moon bag and then like it's so funny year like a year or two later when you remember like oh i have these og bags and you're like oh my god i have extra money like holy <laughs> i'm discovering all this wealth i have <laughs> i had that with like a quarter eth in one of my wallets yeah i like, was like holy we're in it holy, i got gambling money <laughs> I got, I got... <laughs> it's the best thing when you find that couch cushion money so phantom's a big buy right now yeah okay we got Brandon Bryant with the 199 super chat opinions on Moonwell and Base Network. I really don't have much. I, I really don't know much about Moonwell. Just just being honest about it, Base Network. I like it. It's mostly being used for meme coins. If I'm being honest, it's, there's some yield farming going down over there. But um, the main use for the Base Network right now is they're they're, they're kind of like pump and duck Puerto Rico coins, damn near. Um, the hard part about base is just there's no coin to make equity on the on the network becoming more famous. It's basically like like here's the reason Matic became so big as an L2 for for Ethereum is because it had a Matic network token that you could yield farm, make money. The reason OP and Arbitrum are growing so quickly is because there's a token to make money on. Does you see have fetch? Yeah, yes, I do. I have fetch. Yep. Fetch and render. Render me fetched. <laughs> Okay, then we got Akira with the two dollars super chat. Do you think Cardano will do well this cycle? Yes, <laughs> Magic Conch. <laughs> yeah, I think Cardano will do great. It's uh, the founder hasn't rugged. Uh, he's still active on YouTube and stuff like that. Right, currently the project is sixty four cents. Let's see what it's lasting the last three months. And it's coming down a bit. Let's look at the last year. Twenty four cent low. So roughly sitting at a 2.2, 2.3 x right now. Yeah, it's gonna. It's this is always a. It's always like this. Is like oh my damn, not the Hermit Kingdom. This 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 coin takes forever to move, but it's gonna move. Um, I think there's. Um, uh, it's finally gonna have an ecosystem, but its ecosystem is probably really gonna be burgeoning out in 2025. But Cardano is gonna be a dub. It's gonna be a dub. It's one that you 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 can just slowly accumulate here and there with like speculative money, and then when you look back, you're like oh dude, we have a bag. Pretty pulse pot trash. Anyway, um, <laughs> trash pot anything, bros. Launch pad anything, trash. Unless I launch it, trash. <laughs> okay, we got Jacob with the four ninety nine super chat. Thoughts on Jupiter and radium? Uh, Good Jupiter, price? yeah, Jupiter, yeah. I looked at this recently. Yeah, uh, pull it up. You haven't pulled it up. You took it out. Oh, did I take? Oh yeah. shoot, that's my. <laughs> I was rare, waiting you to put it in. <laughs> rare DCCL. Oh. Rare DCCL. Was it, was it, I forgot that, that would mean common, common, uh, Kyle L. <laughs> common Kyle. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Even in Rolo's chat, they'll be like, El Kyle, El Kyle, when we don't start in time. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> catching Rolo, these strays. Destroy my reputation. I'm catching these strays. <laughs> what coin was it again? Uh, uh, Jupiter and radium. Let's look at Ray. Ray, Ray. Radium. Here's the main problem with radium it's cycle one. Solana coin that had a lot that was 
a perpetrator in all the ruggedings that was happening, right? So from a year ago, right, it's worth nothing. It's come up a little bit. Let's see. So it's done pretty well, right? But that's because the whole thing sh shit the bed so bad. Because it was worth this right here. It crashed. Let's see the most. I think it's peak is what? Let's look here. $16. So right now it's sitting at 2 bucks. So basically it needed 8x to get to its all-time high. I mean, right now all the Solana coins are hot, right? So like Radium is going to have a little bit more trouble. Like I think Jupiter will probably outperform it. But it's done really well. I mean, last year and stuff, it's from 18 cents down to $2. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's like an 8x. It's done an 8x from the bottom. Not bad. But mostly because its evaluation went down so cheap that it was like worth like I mean if if I ate if I if I were to like take its market cap right five twenty two divided by eight it was a sixty five it was a sixty five million dollar project at the bottom there maybe even forty million with like it was probably was like fifty or forty nine eight million dollar market cap at the bottom there so sure you can get in some radium but it's still off its top there i'd wait for it to chill off because there's so many people that got wrecked on radium that mm -hmm. that there's people like there's people that have bags that are like oh shit that are going to dump it so it's going to have because that has all these people that bought over here like yeah i did pretty good i bought someone down here and sold it over here we did okay actually i, sold, I think i sold it more over here to be honest if i remember right but um yeah, this, this so it's it's so there's gonna be people who bought all over here here that have bags. So this eight eight it's gonna have trouble. It's gonna have some trouble getting past eight to twelve dollars because there's some people dumping tokens. So it's but it still can run pretty well. We're like we're like Jupe right? Jupe's more of a new virgin coin. Even though the founder did say he doesn't get like don't buy the coin or whatever, right? Which is like I always like that does sort of like in my brain like that's not a smart thing for a founder to say no matter what. Ever. Yeah. But got airdropped <coughs> to everybody. So up here, dollar. It's basically still pretty close. Even even at the top right here, there's actually a decent price to buy Jupiter at. Buying it anywhere from dollar, I would say like two dollars to all the way down to fifty cents. It's a good buy. So if you want to do a small DCA into Jupiter, more people are using Jupiter now than there there are going to be using Radium because new founder, new team, no new. There's not these bag holders and stuff like that. So you have more like like the 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 reality of possibilities is still here where like in radium people have gone fucked on it pretty bad so it has baggage ptsd coin yeah but both will do pretty good as long as Solana, if Solana takes a shit then they all go down so there you go okay we got a uh, point blake with the 199 super chat asking what do you think of pulp pulp or pulse pulp p-u-l-p he didn't write it again afterwards, so I'm guessing he didn't mean pulp. Um, or uh, maybe pulse pulp? Pulse trash. Pot? Trash. I don't know. I'm guessing. Trash. Trash. Basura. Straight ass. And he comes again saying pulse pot. Yeah. Trash. Well, there we have it. There you go. And we got Lucas Dantas with the $2 South African Rand. Is it worth the stake ILV or Phantom? No. No, you can either unless you use your, you can use your phantom to yield farm into another like I'm like I'm in phantom brush, that's fine. But you're coming into it the way the way I look at a yield farm is like I'm investing into that token, but I also want to earn a yield on it because I'm investing because it's because. So let's just say I was like, all right, I'm gonna throw a thousand phantom into phantom boo as an example. Or no, let, let me let me go let me let me think of one that's all right. I'll do brush as an example. Brush right, which I think is a really great token. Um, I'm gonna do a thousand phantom into brush. So what I'll do is I'll buy 500 phantom of brush, then put then then have 500 brush, and then fuse it together in LP pool and yield farm it and earn 40 50 percent in LPs. That way I'm holding brush, I'm holding that, but I still have, I'm still I still holding some fan. It's a good in betweener where you don't feel comfortable holding the main token 100. percent That's the way you can look at it. With alluvium, the yield the yield's so low on alluvium that I think it's better holding it liquid. Unless you are yield farming, like if you're, if you want, if you want to yield farm alluvium, you still can. But the amount of time before the yield, like there's a lot of like question marks on when all this stuff just starts changing on alluvium and stuff like that. So that's kind of the way I'm personally thinking about it. Um, with Phantom, a lot of the yields, like there's STFX Phantom, and where the yields like five percent right now. There's been like a whole, there's been this whole thing where like. A, a, Beethoven and Equalizer work together in order to increase the yield on staking your Phantom, but 
typically the yield you're going to i'd be unless it's in the right in the beginning you can yield farm for a lot in the beginning and then the yield's going to probably go down to 10 or like because right now it's at four or five percent which is okay but the thing is is like that's not worth like getting like a contract hack or something like that just in case right but if the yield's a little higher you may like let's just say have two three hundred percent apr for a couple days and then you take it out and it it, it becomes a game so you're just, a lot of times you're just better off just stacking your phantom don't fuck up the bag because you're, you're just think about all the money and time and energy you're using in your your daily work in order to accumulate that phantom bag or that alluvium bag just to, a contract code to go bad with it now i'm talking the contract code side on the phantom side on the alluvium side it's pretty safe but the yield's very low like if you stake out your alluvium single side staking the alluvium stake it for a full year you get four percent three percent two percent yield that's nothing the yield doesn't become juicy until alluvium actually launches and there's red divs in order to help out the single side staking on alluvium so until the, maybe maybe a month before the game launches, you decide to stake some for two months and to see what kind of yield you might actually get some returns at that point. But I'd rather just stay liquid, personally. There you go. Okay, then we got Parminder site with a two seventy nine Canadian not been accepted to on the private Telegram help, sir. Uh, you well, should be me added me in message hours. Uh, message uh, support at cultivatecrypto.com, but it usually takes twenty four to forty eight hours for people to get accepted. He's talking about the Citadel. Yeah. Be patient, brother. You will get it. Make sure to check your email as well. Yeah, sometimes it goes into the spam, too. Spam folder, yeah. yep. Uh, then we got Chris P. Bacon with the $10 Australian bull run top targets for Alluvium, Sui, Aptos, and Pulse. Well, my bull – well, Chris P. Bacon. <laughs> I know. I was laughing. <laughs> Chris P. Bacon. Like, Not lost on me, sir. Very good. Very nice. With the Australian with the $10 kangaroo bucks. <laughs> um so alluvium i think thirty eight hundred dollars it's kind of my like i think it will hit that thirty eight hundred dollars for sui 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 um let me see chop sui chop sui <laughs> for sui it's oh i thought my screen showed oh whoops oh come on no Common, Common DCCO. <laughs> um, let's see, Sui. Uh, da, 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 $2.4 billion market cap. If Basically, it has no price history. So this is actually a decent coin if you wanted to buy. The thing is, it already started with the high market. That's something that kind of alarms me a little bit. Like, I don't like when coins, like, jump, like, if a coin launches at 100 million, two, if it has an L100, 200, half a billion, that's okay. But what, I, I get a little, like, freaked out when coins are, like, off the rip. They're, like, Two billions plus but this is going to become more of a, an occurrence that's going to happen no matter what but because it's a brand new virgin coin and stuff like that um i mean it's all speculate it's all bullshit speculation there's like it's it's, it's really tough on this one like let's just say a 20x on the price so it might go to 40 it might go to like if, if things go good and everything like that it'll probably it'll probably be like 40 bucks to like it'll probably be 30 to 40 bucks if it catches the wave, right? Because a twenty a twenty x on his market cap would put it at like forty. What is it? Yeah, like a forty forty billion dollar market cap. Damn. That's. I think Illumin could go even higher than three thousand if things go good. But I think like with Ethereum being crazy and all this other stuff, and then like the game being okay, I think it could do pretty good. No one's using Sway. No one's using half these L ones, bro. Let's be honest, bro. No one's using Soy Sai. It's the same. I, but I said the same thing exactly. Art, but art, you see, arts, Understood. one of our oldest students ever. He was in the first crypto mindset course. This man's a G, but it's it's true. We know it. It's so stupid. It's so stupid, but we know it. So, like, it's not a terrible buy because, like, if we go back, put a little chart back up, the lowest price you could have bought this was at 38 cents. So, right there, I mean, if I was looking at market cap at the time, right? The low, like, you see, there, there was a decent time to buy it, right? But it's still okay. So it's still it's still okay for what it's done so far, right? But yeah. Also, this is a scary part right here is that they're only only like twelve percent of the total. Well, uh, yeah, twelve percent of the total supplies out right now. So there's still so it's there's still coins coming out and everything like that, which can hurt the price going up. So maybe with all that, maybe it only goes just twenty bucks. But if they're smart, they admit the the supply slowly. So there you go. Oh, shit. Took it, took it down. Go ahead. <laughs> Next one. Uh, we're all cut up. Oh, we're all cut up. Perfect. Uh, one second. Uh, oh, well, I actually, I need a, I think he said Aptos as well. Yeah, he said Aptos, Pulse, ILV. One second. 
Aptos. Now, Aptos, Aptos is getting a little steam here and stuff like that. Obviously, poof, 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 poof. <laughs> that chart is kind of wild. Poof, 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 poof. <laughs> but hey, there's some big money in this playing around and stuff like that. It did a nice, this nice little move here, which are crashing up here, going back up, going back down, it's going back up. It's already back at, it's already at, it's basically resistance over here. Yeah, not bad. The thing, the thing with Aptos that's going to hurt it possibly is that, um, it's high price. It's going to slow it down a little bit. Yeah, B yeah. VCG is not wrong. I think Sui was VC funded and started by some devs from the failed Meta Libra project. Yeah. So I, I bet you a lot of those admissions are going to them on the low, the jack. So it's it's, it's speculative. Yeah, that's we got to be careful, you know. Like this when you're buying shit cheap, you're you get you take some profits and move and you move it, you know. Same thing for Sai. Yeah, dude, a lot of these coins are bullshit. Like I know. Aptos, the one good thing, I mean, there's supposedly like um, Aptos at some point is going to get a, a it's going to get a jewel launch on it, which is kind of cool at some point. But um, it's already pretty high in market cap already and stuff, seven billion dollars and stuff. That's why it's kind of slowing down a little bit here. But um, it can reach multiple. It can reach like I think a lot of coins are going to reach forty billion dollar in market cap. So but the thing with this one, it's going to have hell of a time going past a hundred bucks. It's going to be tough because the higher price it is, more, more regular guys are like, well, I can just buy something for a dollar because you can go to a hundred dollars. Yep. It's going to hurt it a little bit. Next. Okay. Then we got Sadie Han saying, how much will I make if uh, from Pulse if I invest 15K? Obviously, Not you know financial, financial advice. advice and all this other stuff, brother. But here's the thing, bro. You got to stop thinking of like that. I mean, yeah, I get it. Like you, you think it in your head, but you got to be careful saying it out loud because it sounds crazy. You know, it's like, how much will I make of invest? I mean, I think I, I mean, if I was being the most conservative person ever, like, you at least make ten times probably. But like, you're spec. I mean, you're you're investing in L one. I think you can do way more than that. But you have to you have to be patient. You're getting it at a decent time. Obviously, it's like it's, um, it's up right now, basically a three x from its bottom. But that's it. Still hasn't run away. It's very near sack price. So you're getting it at a decent price. You can yield farm it and stuff like. That. There's a lot of things you can do with a. Uh, this token right here um so i mean if all things go decent well because it'll it, at very least it'll go multiples of a tenth of a penny so like um it could be pretty good i mean like if it if it can get to 30 percent of a penny it, that'd be like four hundred fifty thousand on 15 g's Dang. not bad not bad <clears throat> then we got parminder sign with the 279 saying 10k to 100k at the end of 2024 help with coins please <laughs> so on 10x <laughs> so i need a 10x by the end of 24 though that's the that's the thing where i was like ah alluvium gallo i think alluvium gallo will hit that i think alluvium will okay boom like dude look we're three months in there's a lot happening in three months we're, we're, this is how crazy shit it, like there's there's this whole picture of like um of like all these crazy events happening in rap like or happened in the world, like there's the Diddy thing, and then there's all these other things that happened, right? There's Usher hugging that girl during the Super Bowl. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what month one month was. What what was? Uh, there's something that happened in month one that cracks me up. I got we got to create a bingo card of what happened. <laughs> 2024 bingo card. Bingo card of just crazy shit that happened. Diddy's the free space. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me see if I could find the meme. Um, Yeah, here it is. So it's so you had you had the um, you had the whole you had the whole thing where what's it called? Um, oh, what's the Shen Sharp interview with uh, what's his name? Uh, <coughs> Cat Williams. Oh yeah, Cat Williams. That was January. You have Usher Usher hugging fucking uh, Alicia Keys or whatever. <laughs> and then March you had Diddy. We're not even in April yet, bros. Shit. We have April, May, June, July. Dude, people you know, watch this. Everyone in Pulse Chain's crying. January is one of the best months for Pulse Chain ever. Bro, like every, everyone was crying, right? So December, November, you know, December, November, even like August and shit and everything like like pulsing's not pumping and nothing's happening. And then January, like we every, all the L1s rip up, and then January we fucking pump. Everyone's so happy. No, every, the rest of the L ones are just standing there. Hey Miguel, you hit 30k. On what? On YouTube. Oh, cool. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even know that. Yo. Should I hit a Pepe? Hit the Pepe. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody take your 
titties out. Somebody take your titties out, yeah. Somebody take your titties out, yeah. You got a new man. You know where you want to be. <laughs> it's purple. Woo! Hell yeah. Woo! Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, dude. That's so cool, dude. That's so cool. Let's go, man. 30,000, man. We did it, man. It only took years. You know, <laughs> they've shadow banned me. The Matrix has attacked me. They took my intro away. I can't even play all the stuff I want to say. <laughs> I talk once about Black Lives Matter. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, JK, JK. Oh, right here. Look, new prison rap duo, R. Kelly and Puffy. P. Dillers. <laughs> P. Dillers. Oh. oh, man. I love it. I love it. I love ain't it. nobody winning karaoke. <laughs> uh, yo, I'm gonna lie though. I'm gonna lie though. I didn't catch him. Like everyone was trying to get me to go to the karaoke thing. I went. I left. I just gambled downstairs with Charlie and won a bunch of money. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't catch me slipping like that. I watch it all over the gram. Uh, uh, no way. So I was like, somebody take your titties out. Uh, I actually would have sung that song. I really would have. <laughs> oh my god. I, I don't know if I could hit the high note, but you know, I get close. Oh, oh. we'll turn the reverb up. Okay. All right, we got Chef Tito 2024 with the 499. Do you think Ehex will reach to one cent or close to a cent over, over the, the summer? summer? It pulsing pumps on yeah. Yeah, it'll come, it'll go back to a penny. Yeah. You only think that'll truly kill it? I don't want to say actually fuck that. Nah. Pass. I won't say how. Oh, but it's very bad. It has consequences. Those deep, deep, deep consequences if it happens, though. Let's go. Next. Oh, this dude. Point Blake with the 199. Do you even know what Pulse Pod is? Project is. Rock. Trust me, sir. I shit on your bag. I don't need it. I'm okay. Everything with pot in it, bros, is straight up trash. There's probably a buy and exit tax. It's either a launch pad. Like, it's brother. Hey, hope you make a uh, bro. I hope you make money on these fucking shitty mean coins. Okay. I'm fucking around right now on these majors because we can make some major money. Here's the thing is a lot of these micro cap coins, you really can't even put enough money in it to give a fuck. You know? Like, you just can't. Like, not a man of my stature. <laughs> if all you're doing is decent. Okay, no, nah, nah, you know what? Fuck it, man. I ain't shit. I ain't gonna shit on the guys just getting into crypto, man, because it's tough. It's, it's, I was there. But it's the truth, you know? Anyway, Sammy Chica, DCC One Moon. Very soon, very soon. Um, we've got another month. We, bro, I said bro. <laughs> I called Sarah bro. <laughs> um, no, Sammy's awesome. Um, S Sammy, so basically in April, it's looking like the halving's going to be on 420, like I said. Why would they make it on 420, I wonder? Oh, shit. Because it's funny. <laughs> 
I literally could do a little Diablo face. Like I, I, I come with a little prop <laughs> thing right here, a little, little, di- little demo, like little, uh, uh, goatee, oh, little goatee. No, not a goatee, but the uh, little uh, Cantinflas mustache. Okay. <laughs> Cantinflas mustache, <laughs> little cuernitos and stuff. Go like. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, thoughts on gophers. Um, I, I don't mind. It. I like it. That's cool, man. I like dip catcher. Dip catcher is a good guy. Um, he's getting, I think he's getting a lot of hate. Basically, he's getting a lot of hate for that. Now, are some people dumping pulse chain and all those other coins because that's all they have in order to ape the project? Yes, sir. Is it going to onboard some people in from Solana into pulse chain? I think it will, but probably if like there's four, if there's five people at the party, one person will be from Solana. Yeah. Unless the project does very, 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 very well on Solana, then maybe two out of two out of those five people can be from Solana. It still will onboard somebody from Solana, but a lot of it's just pulse chain money going over there. Let's be honest. Nine out of ten dentists say that. Nine out of ten dentists say that. The one, the one fucking crazy dentist right here with my passion. That's a good question, though. It's like, what what determines the happening date? Uh, the the miners basically how many blocks are being mined uh, at the same time. I mean, at the same like there's one block every ten minutes and stuff like. That. There's a certain block where it hits that point, but there's ways for them to kind of chew it around a little bit. You know, they're able to like, you know, <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, see. I got uh, Sammy Chica. Let's see. Uh, I've got some gophers. If I make some cash or dash, I'm gonna go buy more. Pull. Hey, hey. Right got first or last, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> money printer go burn you know i like i like that guy man so i like oh, yeah he's dip catchers done a lot of good stuff in the community for sure then we got it's april 16th yeah but that's in pro all of them can't they can't completely get it 100 percent perfect if it is on 16th that's cool but man it'd be funny if it was on 420 though <laughs> then we got pawan k with the five dollars super chat congrats on the 30k subs question when fed rate cut for juicy, for juicy dips. dips um may 1st or june 12th so, uh, pull my scrap cop. Yes, sir. This is the Federal Open Market Committee. Their next meeting is so it's the, it starts on the thirtieth, but they they tell everyone what they did on the first. Starts on the eleventh, but they tell us on the twelfth. So within these two dates, right here, right here, we are going to get the probably the first rate hike. It looks like we're going to have three rate hikes happening this year. Um, it could be anywhere from 25, 25, 25. I think the first one's going to be 50 then 25. 20. I, I think what's going to happen is they're going to still lower us 1% this year, but they have said that they are possibly going to lower a little bit less into 2025. So that means if we go from five and a half to four and a half, we may, they may leave us at like 3.75. So we may, we, they may only drop us 75 basis points in 2025, which is still pretty decent. That means it'll leave us in the high threes. Cuts, cuts, yes, cuts, rate cuts. So, but um, yeah, May and April is too early to drop DCC. Well, and there was a drop, you guys. Look at that. <laughs> well, I think the reason for it is because they're trying to make the stock market look good because, like, they let the market dip a little bit. Because usually, when the rate hike, I mean, I, I wouldn't be shocked if it pumped off the news or some shit, but which would be funny. But usually, we're, we, if cuts, if there's a cut or a, or a hike that happened, the market fucking like, whoa, holy shit, because some people are mispriced, mispriced because they're betting on the other side, just like longs and shorts. And eventually, everyone gets on the train, gets on the train trade and goes. But usually, rate, even, even, even if there's a negative um, price drop in the stock market, after the after the cuts are announced and happen, cuts are really good for the economy because it, make, it means it's cheaper to borrow money. And that means money printing, because ban- banks don't have money; they just print money. The Federal Reserve doesn't have money; they print money. They go burr. They go burr. So there you go. I will be live casting about it once it happens. Uh, a couple I told you shows and stuff like that, but yeah. Anyway. Okay, then we got Obed some more with the nineteen ninety nine super chat saying. Thoughts on Duco, a new me- Solana meme coin. Also, 2500 into either Pulse Chain or Pulse X. Thoughts on which one will run quicker over the summer? I'm hoping to make profits over the summer, then rotate into other coins. Oh, okay. Um, obviously, not. I don't have any thoughts on the Duco coin. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they had such a thing Duco. to call it. They kind of call it Dookie in one. So bad. <laughs> Dookie. <laughs> <laughs> but Duco coin, I don't have much thoughts about it. I'll look into it for sure. Um, but... 
probably pulse sex will pump a little harder probably just because more it's it's as time goes on the supply is getting destroyed more um people saw what kind of gains it did ink token keeps printing up if ink token keeps going up pulse X will keep going up then pulse chain but pulse chain can have a reckoning where if pulse chain starts getting like you know they are trying to get a listed on mexi and um l1 eventually if, if more people outside of crypto start buying into the l1 narratives which is what's it's worked so far more people buy pulse chain that are coming into the ecosystem and that could pump up pulse chain pretty heavy duty so yeah there you go Yep. Oh, we're all cut up. All right. And um, go down. Go down, Kyle. Go that one to that amazing journey guy. Can, Can you elaborate the beginning of the stream about BBC and Nine Inch? Will you, uh, will you be in the lower stakes movie? All right. Here we go. So <clears throat> will I be in the lower stakes movies? I should have been. I was hanging out with Hexy Bastard the entire time. And it never happened. He told me like 15 times. Hey, Miguel, can you mind you mind doing like a like a 10 minute or a like a five minute interview with stuff? I had like maybe 40 seconds of maybe using the movie. Yeah, sure. Literally with the main guy and <laughs> Hexy Bastard. <laughs> Never happened. <laughs> and we kept saying, holy shit, man. We keep hanging out and it doesn't happen. We're just all driving around. And it just didn't happen. So blame Hexy Bastard. Common Hexy Bastard L. <laughs> I saw everyone getting interviews with the hex, and there's like, yeah, Miguel, it's your turn. And then as soon as I go over there, he's gone. <laughs> I'm like, so I'm not in the movie. He rugged you. Bad friend. <laughs> Bad friend. L. I want send hate his way. <laughs> <laughs> hate from Australia. Hate from Australia. Oh my god, Miguel. <laughs> you keep right? Oh my god. Next Shimi does. I want you guys to just stay, say, say hate. From whatever country you're from or state you're from <laughs> hate from bakersfield <laughs> that's from people hate bro that's what i'm scary i'd be like hate all right from I, need, those I need some bodyguards now <laughs> hate from las vegas hate, <laughs> hexy bastard has a youtube channel go find his youtube channel subscribe to him and then when he does a live stream in his comment section put hate from australia hate from this hate from that um <laughs> you can buy this little violin and on amazon it's the world's smallest violin. Just look for it, bros. It's it's like five to six dollars. It is worth its weight in gold, my guys. Like this shit is just. I buzzed this out like on people sometimes when they're like talking sh like, <laughs> <laughs> just play it on them. like bodied people. I bodied like four or five people in real life with this shit. It's incredible. <laughs> I love this. Will Phantom be having airdrops? Uh, certain projects will. Yeah. If you're if you, if you if you still have their coins, there's gonna be an airdrop supposedly for people who who uh, who have been. LP providing have been using Phantom, have been owning certain projects within Phantom. They're keeping it really close to their chest. But Andre has said that there's going to be some airdrops for that. So, but who knows? Like, so I'm just doing everything. I'm in, I'm an equalizer. I'm in paintbrush. I'm in fucking, uh, I almost said liquid loans. I do have liquid loans, but um, I'm in um, just about everything you can imagine there. It's, um, you know. Yeah, but be careful for airdrops. Yeah, I will. I will tell you guys what's real on Phantom. I'll let you guys know about those airdrops and stuff. We'll, we'll the the Citadel and the Crypto Mines, of course, will know, but they haven't happened yet. What about Arbitrum? Arbitrum's not my favorite, but they are doing stuff over there. They got GMX and everything like that. I mean, it's going to be good. I mean, like I would like there's co like there's Coke and Pepsi, right? Arbitrum is Pepsi. I'd I'd consider OP Coke. That's the way I like co I like OP a lot better. I like optimism way better because it's optimistic. And those arbitrum boys are kind of like kind of like blue pill pansies. <laughs> Legitimately, like they're like, hey, we're gonna vote if we're gonna spend something this money on something. But we already spend the money. Like, uh, no, and Matt, they, they had a, this happened. Don't let don't 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 fucking let this don't let this get erased from history. Arbitrum set a vote. They said, "Hey, you guys, can we allocate this money for um, for the, we want to spend this money on some advertising and stuff?" And the community voted no. <laughs> They're like, "We're well, it, it, we were we were just we were we weren't asking for permission. We were just telling you guys what was happening." <laughs> That's all you need to know. All you need. They don't listen to their community, so fuck them. They said you don't get no vote. So oh, that's why OP has been fucking them in the ass. No spit courtesy. There you go. Let's keep going. Du, 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 du. 
<laughs> oh yeah, unless you want to still elaborate on the beginning of it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back to it. Yeah, yeah. So elaborate in the beginning of the stream. He said BBC and Nine Inch. Will you be in the? Yeah, yeah. So basically, I think um, the one problem that I saw, so if I was just giving my like honest take on the ecosystem, I like the ecosystem a lot. Um, you know, it's a good place to launch a meme coin or projects and stuff like for the launch pad. Um, I would probably recommend using a um, uh, what do you call that? Um, a VPN. Because sometimes uh, the RP, the R, it just it, it lags out. Sometimes with, with a VPN, it, it kind of solves that problem. Wink. But um, I'd said that. So the nine inch is their, is their main ecosystem token, but BBC is the token that you earn from yield farming. Well, I told them that there really was only one yield farm for BBC. So I said like one way that you could improve the ecosystem is including a bbc incentive token yield farm i think that would help out the ecosystem a lot and bring a lot more capital into the into the project free alpha bum, 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 bum. the next day the project just goes like no, I'm just it's fucking skyrockets <laughs> it skyrockets or like it goes miguel that was a terrible idea like i don't know why i listened to you no 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 <laughs> Anyway, uh, but I digress. Do you guys have any dick butt or what? <coughs> Say that out loud, sir. Think what? You sound. Spot me five. No diddy. <laughs> no diddy. Yeah. So arbitrum is just like a federal election. They've already decided the outcome. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I feel like the Tates are going to pump Pulse Chain one day. I know they got it. Waller's sterling the whole group's in. It's no one. No one tells the Tates what to do. They do whatever they want. Yep. That's just the thing. You know. Who knows? I, mean, I think. I think they're. They got some good guys over there giving them some advice and stuff like that. I think the Tates are really smart. I mean, I'd love to talk to the Tates about crypto and stuff. I definitely would do it. I mean, um, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, let me keep going. Uh, what do I see it? Ah, yeah. That's why I've been saying the rate the rate cuts are going to happen between May 1st and June 12th and stuff like that. Um, the, th the only reason why I still say May 1st, because that's kind of where I've been thinking like it's going to start happening, because they can lag it out. They can just do one cut there and then do the cut months later or a, a later. They have time to do it. June, June, you could do it in June if it's going to be a little more expedited, but that's really means you only got like six months left versus like you got a little bit more time to do the cuts over the year, you know? Um, that is an interesting thing. Let's see what Jewel is doing, actually. I haven't seen what Jewel's been doing. Uh, pull up that comment. Which one do you say? You just, uh, I'll bring it up right now. Yeah. Yeah. DeFi Kingdom right now is at 22 cents. I grabbed a big, a bigger position in DeFi Kingdom at 21 cents. So, there's going to be an expansion to Metis. So I think both DeFi Kings and Metis are going to go do a pump and stuff like that. Metis currently is at 101. This is the same thing. Metis is going to pump, but like the same thing, it's going to have that trouble because like, it's half a billion in market cap. This is actually, a, I, I would buy Metis right now. Don't say I don't give you guys nothing. <laughs> um, I think Metis is going to do really well. A lot of the projects on Metis act a lot like Phantom Project. They do pump. But I'll save all that for the guys in the Citadel and the Crypto Mindset courses. Uh, you guys also, we will be having a Flash webinar, you guys, coming really soon for the Crypto Mindset course and the Citadel. Really soon. It should be this week. But I'm not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> but you should be there or be poor. Uh, for anyone in the Citadel, um, if you missed the webinar, it will be recorded for you guys. So don't worry. Got you. For the rest of you guys not in Citadel, poverty. Oh, uh, one more thing as well, you guys. Uh, be sure, be sure to be sure to follow me on. Uh, I had actually had a. I followed a guy on um, Twitter the other day. Never make that mistake again. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 but I followed a guy and then he, he thought I was a fake DCC man. This is the real DCC. This is the official animes. Manga releases are all done here, man. Follow, the, uh, support the official release. Here's a Citadel, the real Citadel link. Here's my real Instagram, my YouTube, and my Twitter. And if you're on YouTube right now watching me, what the hell, man? Follow me, bro. 
But um, here's here's one of the re- so um, but yeah, go follow the official links and stuff. I have this this is my link tree. It's on my Instagram. It's on my Twitter. It's on everything. So what are you doing? Go follow. And thank you so much for getting me to thirty thousand, you guys. I really appreciate it. I think Charlie hit hit it the other week or the last or the couple of days ago yeah. as well. So both me and Charlie combined are at sixty k, man. We're on our way, man. A three x away from a hundred k. Three x away from a plaque. Oh shit! That'd be so cool. I'll stop hugging. I'll stop hugging this one. I'll stop hugging this one, and I'll start hugging my other one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like I guess they say you're not a real YouTuber until you have a plaque. I guess. I guess. But I made more money than most of these YouTubers have anyway. <laughs> I forgot what uh I need a pulse chain one. I'm gonna get a pulse chain one of this. But there, I got the phantom one. So there was this uh out. TikToker talking about like how many YouTubers she's worked with, and it was like there's so many YouTubers that act rich, but they're actually so fucking broke. And it's a fact. It's I'm a like, lot, it's wow. most it's all. Yeah. I mean, even let's see. Um even most even most crypto guys. I mean, the reason they have to take like, hey, sponsored by. And it mm-hmm. referral link, the, 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 you know, yeah, referral links aren't bad, but like, but it's more like taking direct, like, like, let's just say, hey, use Ledger, or use my code to get five dollars off or whatever. Don't fuck, actually, as a matter of fuck Ledger, it's Trezor. <laughs> use it. Here's my Trezor link. Get five dollars off or get ten dollars off or whatever. That's fine. But like, today I'm sponsored by, bum bum bum, you know, whatever exchange of the day, right? Though low key though. I wouldn't mind a Kraken one because Kraken's cool. Yeah. I like Kraken. What's Kraken? Though I okay, I honestly I would take a Coinbase. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> because I'm taking I, 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 let's you know, that I mean, Coinbase I feel, bag. I, I, I do like I do like Coinbase. Like I but but you know, but if they started hey me, you can't be saying these things. I'm like, man. Cut the relationship off right there. Yeah, that'd be kind of tough. Kraken's cracking. Yeah. Patient. Patiently waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway. Oh, thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Thoughts on Rio and Cass. I like Cass right now. Cash, Cass is probably a really good, I, I'd, I'd consider buying some right now on Cass. Um, let me get rid of this. Um, I consider buying some of that right now because it's, it's at a, it's at a good price. It's been oscillating the same time. Let me pull it up. Hmm. God damn, my butterfingers. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry and I haven't eaten all day, dude. <laughs> I Legitimately know. haven't eaten nothing. Miguel wakes up and decides, you know what? I'm going to starve myself. Not on purpose. Uh, no, it's just because you're busy, but. <laughs> yeah, not on purpose. I, I don't be doing that girl shit. Like, oh, let me not eat today because I'm getting fat. Like, And bitch. then, and they're on those epic. <laughs> <laughs> But if we look right, it's pumped, it's done pretty steady. It's gone up here, boom, gone back down, 10 cents, pumped up here again, 17. Everybody from here, from this, wouldn't shut the fuck about cat. Now that it's here, chilling, like this whole section from here to here has been really quiet. Even from here to here, really, it's been kind of quiet. But like this, everyone started talking about cast again. Right now, it's at 13 cents. I think it's a good buy for Caspa. I think it's a good buy for Caspa. And um, I definitely get all my stack before 20 cents. What I like about this is it getting to a dollar would still it can it can get multiple billions. I mean, it can go 10, 20, 30 billion and still be like under a dollar, which is really good. That means people are like, well, it's only 50 cents. It can go to dollar fifty two. Like the moon math is incredible. That's why I like Phantom right now, right? It's because Phantom. <laughs> yo, if I buy Phantom <laughs> now at a dollar, it might it, 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 it might go to a hundred dollars. <laughs> That'd be really cool. Bro. That'd be super cool. If it cool. goes to hundred dollars, bro, I'm pimping out here. That R34 is mine. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Bro. <laughs> uh, and Rio, I'm not sure. Uh, can you elaborate in the comments for Rio? Because like that, but like, let's see what else we got here. Let's see what Boo's doing today. Spooky swap. It's down a little bit. This is actually a decent time to DCA because like, if you look at the last month, right? Pumped up here to three dollars. It almost went to four dollars. Four dollars. It's down two bucks. This is a good DCA zone to two fifty because it's literally a dollar fifty off. And it's, look at the market cap, really cheap. They're gonna have their bridges up and everything. They're gonna money like this. This is gonna be a good coin. Still doing good emissions and stuff. 
So they're gonna. I think they're gonna focus on pumping the spooky swap token now. It's sort of like the incentive token, right? Where like spooky swap gives a lot of yield out and stuff in terms of the pool. So now I think what's gonna happen is the price of the token needs to increase dramatically in order for the yield to be delectable for people to supply for liquidity pools. Yeah. Let's see. Um, yeah, fa yeah. Uh, go to Damien real quick. Then I'm trending more on Twitter. More people are waking up. Oh no, definitely. Yeah, more people are waking. Definitely, more people are waking up to it because, um, how do I say it? Like, you can't fade Andre and all the tech they're building, bros. Like, they're. I mean, it's fast. Like, I, have, I, I'll tell you this. I have not had a problem on Phantom other than like people's shitty websites. Sometimes some projects have really bad websites, but. The, the network has been fast. I've never paid that much in gas fees for anything. Like, I think the most I ever paid was like a 38 Phantom for a transaction. Boo hoo. I got spoiled with that because then I went back to youth and I was like, ow. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's stupid fast. And the tech that are about to be even fat, they're about to be faster than Salon or anything. But that's it's it's really good and it's really and but they can the technology can be shared. I dude, I think it I think it goes mainstream once it's tech, once the FDM, the phantom, the phantom upgrade technology goes into Ethereum. That's when Ethereum money's gonna go deep into Phantom, bro. Like it might, it might be like you know, like the big the big three, the, the like right now, right? It's 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 Bitcoin, Ethereum. The next one that could be up on the list in terms of like where pe like Tradify's pushing Solana, it just is what it is, right? What if Phantom is like the fifth or fourth wheel on that? Yo. Hmm? Could very well be. Uh, at that point, it just becomes. I've been conservative with it. You know, I've said 10 or $12 for Phantom. But you can go. I mean, my, my highest was 15 bucks for Phantom. The cycle. I've said this since. I said that since 16 cents. It can go to $15. But if it catches a wave, like where people are like on it, like Solana is this cycle. Like, oh my God, bro. Wisconsin. Bye, <laughs> <Levi>, Montana. <laughs> um, crispy bacon, please. Ink. I love that name. <laughs> <laughs> crispy bacon with the ten dollars. That's such a good name. That's such a good name. Ink bull run top target. No diddy. No financial advice. No diddy. No financial advice. Uh, let me look. It's currently at six dollars and eighty-one centaroos. Pull my screen up. Yeah, thank you. So, um. This is a tough one. The, the The big important thing is that the OA controls none of the supply. It is just it's all twenty eight million held by actual holders. The market cap's still pretty low, right? Um, a bit of it's been burned and stuff like that. But roughly, you know, we got twenty eight million tokens. It admi the admissions are going to keep growing, but over time, the um, just like pancakes. Let, let's just say as an example, right? Let's just say, um, where are we at? Okay, let's just say I'm guesstimating here. Let, I'm gonna say every year it creates 33 million tokens a year, right? Because it came out in May, right? May 12th, Pulse Chain launch, boom, right? Went live, and incentive token came out. Um, let's just say there's 33 million tokens every year that get created. So it had a it had an infinite inflation rate the first year. The second year, it had another 33 million tokens created. That means it had 50% inflation. The third year, it has 25% inflation. The next year, 12%. So every year that continues on, there's the there's less and less. There's the inflation coming out in send token affects the supply less. So you can actually get a real ratcheting up in terms of price and stuff. So it's actually quite, quite um, it's actually pretty decent stuff. Like it's pretty decent how we can it can end up doing and stuff like that. So um it can go pretty high. I mean, it's a hundred dollars isn't impossible. It can go pretty high, but like people saying you know, the thing is that people are you it isn't it is a token used to take profits on. And incentivize things, but I think it can do pretty well. And there's upgrades. There's, there's upgrades that's happened for Pancake Swap that can be added to incentive token. Ultrasound cake, ultrasound incentive. Ooh. Wouldn't you want to incentivize ultrasound, <laughs> Richard? Hui hui. Next. Then, then we got KG with the 1999. Did you know that the internet money wallet has Phantom preloaded with price tracking for all Phantom assets on Android, iOS, and Chrome? KG, no, I did not know that, sir. Holy, Holy shit. shit. KG's one guy that I've not been dodging him. I just be I just been busy. So he's <laughs> supposed to be on the stream. Sorry, bro. <laughs> I do like the internet money wallet. It's cool. DCC approved. 
And uh, it's cool. Wallet. Like I like that he has an Android, iOS, and Chrome. That's that's for yes, sir. Yes. So it's gonna happen, you guys. It's gonna happen because I need it. I will have you on before I get on the crypto mindset course train. Because once I go on that, it's gonna be impossible, bro. Sorry, but it's gonna happen. I don't hate KG. KG hates the game. <laughs> <laughs> Just messing with you, bro. I love you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me, guys. Um, this is crypto riches, man. Buy, buy the best coins, buy your, buy your theorem, buy your phantom, buy your pulse chain, buy the coins right now. And there's certain coins like cast and pulse chain that are, no one's talking about them right now. Get into them. Metis is a huge one. I think Metis, it's half a billion market cap, hundred bucks. Spend an Ethereum, get 34 of those bitches, 35 yeah. of them bitches, hold them, dump them on everyone's heads later, make a fortune. Jewel's going to be doing pretty decent. Alluvium's going to hit. Gaul is going to hit. There's so much money out here, you guys. And if you guys want more heat and stuff, we're going to be talking a lot more to the guys in the Citadel. We're going to do another unrecorded um, an unrecorded AMA as well as a um, a flash webinar that's going to happen for the pulse sh- for the guys in for the gr- for, uh, for the guys in the crypto mindset course as well as for the Citadel. So, if you want to be a part of that flash webinar, join the Citadel. There's still time. You join up today, you literally 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 can get in. Later.